it's beginning to look like inflation is never going to end and big games just keeps coming out with more and more leaks about the game that's just further driving inflation even crazier today we're gonna go over some of those leaks and then i'm gonna do my general analysis and tell you guys what is going on in the market and what i'm investing in and what we can expect for this new update i probably don't even have to tell you but if you're not in the discord join up link in description daily giveaways great community Tomorrow night, we're giving away a huge Clover Dragon, so you're going to want to join up on that. As you can see, this thing is 49.1 million diamonds, and we're giving it away for absolute free. I'm working on my yapping, so let's get right into it for market analysis number four. All right, so if you've been paying attention at all to the pet simulator market, we have seen massive inflation with pretty much every single item in the game, except for a few things like the drops from breakables but pretty much everything else has risen in price like crazy. The inflation might actually be worse than I originally thought, <laughs> but obviously this is more due to some of the stuff that Big Games has been talking about recently. Now, in my last video, I did talk about the tweet that Preston made telling people to save up their huges and their titanic pets. Now, in that video, I said that I believe it would probably have something to do with the new clan system that they have been talking about implementing for a while now. So I assumed it was some sort of like clan event. We have gotten some leaks from pretty reputable sources that we're actually going to be seeing a huge and titanic daycare. And someone actually leaked the image of it. I'm not going to show it because I'm not really sure exactly how these images were obtained. And I just want to stay safe. But now that's what everybody in the community believes is going to happen. We're going to get a new upgraded daycare that takes our huges and our titanics. And I assume they're going to give you some pretty good stuff. I don't know if it would use the amount of slots that you have in the regular daycare. Or if it would have its own set of slots and stuff like that. I believe the most daycare slots you can obtain while being free to play is about 30. I'd imagine if you could put 30 huges in a machine that it's going to give you some pretty insane stuff. So since this announcement, we've seen that inflation that we were seeing go even crazier. As you guys can see, the huge happy computer is now 23.8 million. I believe in that market analysis that I did two days ago, prices were about like 19.5 million for these. So we've seen a 4 million increase in the wrap in just a couple days, which is pretty crazy. Now you guys know that I was predicting we would probably see some crazy inflation anyways, but obviously this is more dramatic than I originally thought. There is a big possibility that when the update comes out, this daycare is not really that good. And if people realize this, then it's possible we do see a deflation period after the update comes out. But honestly, I'm just not that shirk. I just really don't see them having a huge and titanic daycare that doesn't give anything good. Because huges are so expensive, so if you're going to put away your huges for a few hours, you're definitely going to be expecting to get some type of return. Honestly, we're probably just going to have to see what comes in this new update on Saturday. And basically from there, we're going to be able to figure out whether or not inflation continues. However, I am leaning to the side that we're just going to see even more crazy inflation from here. A lot of people are used to inflation and deflation just happening constantly within the game. But depending on how Big Games does this update, I think we could see some insane inflation that we have never seen in Pet Simulator 99. As you guys can see here, Big Games tweeted this out yesterday. What we think is going to happen in Rebirth 5. So they did confirm that we're going to get 25 new levels at least. I can only imagine how much more inflation we're going to see if we're getting 25 new levels and we're going to be able to farm more and more diamonds. Especially as people begin to finally finish all their mastery stuff. They've already spent all of those diamonds. So they're going to have to start spending those diamonds on huges and upgrades for their team instead. So this is one reason I think that we're going to see even crazier inflation. And these prices could possibly be the lowest that we see. In one of my previous market analysis videos, I told you guys, keep your diamonds invested in pets because that's going to be the best way to keep the value for those diamonds. If you're holding on to diamonds, the value of those is only going down as things begin to cost more. But if you keep stuff like the cheapest huges, they're going to go up and down with the value of the diamonds. So that's just a way to stay safe. As you guys can see, I've pretty much spent almost all my diamonds. I've, I'm invested in pretty much everything in the market right now. Most of my diamonds are obviously in all of these huges. 
I have so many of these happy computers and this is only my trading account. Honestly, I should be giving these to my grinding account so they can grind even faster and make even more diamonds, but I'm too lazy to do that. So <laughs> most of the time I play in the game is just doing trading here in the trading plaza. It is extremely hard to find any huges for rep value at the moment, but if you are quick and you can server hop like crazy, you can find some eventually, but you definitely have to be dedicated to find those types of deals. Now, pretty much that is all the leaks that we've gotten from Big Games and Preston himself. We're going to see a new update and it's coming out the day before St. Patrick's Day. So there could be some sort of St. Patrick's Day event, but most likely we're actually going to see an Easter event be put in this update. So maybe we actually get some sort of cool little Easter event that is happening in Pet Simulator. But I just don't really see a world in which inflation doesn't go crazy. After this update, there's always the possibility that they increase the diamond cap too, which would drive inflation even crazier. Now, it is important to note that I don't think they're going to add any more items to the exclusive shop for this event, but it definitely is possible. They could replace the jelly egg in the exclusive shop. Also take these things out of the exclusive shop. So... If that is the case, then we probably would see the boss chest mimic go up in price, but I'm going to talk about that shortly. And then the black hole, of course, but we'll talk about the enchants very soon. Now, in terms of huges to invest in, the golden hell rock is currently 31.6 million compared to the happy computer golden, which is 32.9 million. So if you are looking to get some gold huges, it is quite expensive now. But I would definitely go with the rock version because it is currently cheaper than the computer and there's more of the computer that exists. So it's just going to be a better deal overall. And if you are looking to invest in huges still, the happy rock is currently only 100k more than the computer. So honestly, I'd be putting my diamonds into the rocks because since there's more computers that exist, the prices of these huge happy computers are most likely going to be less than the prices of the huge happy rocks. And they're pretty much the same price right now. So that's why it's a perfect time to pick up the rocks compared to the happy computers. Now, something that's seen a huge impact from inflation has been these exclusives, actually. Let me see if I can find it. The, the blueberry cow is almost a million diamonds, which is absolutely insane. Over time, these blueberry cows have actually have been increasing faster than the huges have. Literally two weeks ago, this thing was at least 400k. The price of this thing has increased by 250%, which is absolutely insane. The happy rock hasn't moved 200% quite yet, just to give you a little perspective. I use these blueberry cows because I believe these ones have the most that exist. So that's just why I usually use this as a benchmark. But as you can see, stuff like the emoji cat is 1.05 million. And then, of course, we have the Jelly Corgi, which has a manipulated price right now. And then the cheapest 85% we have here is the Jelly Axolot, which is 943 So not that much cheaper. And if we know these are almost a million now, you, you can only imagine how expensive a 90% exclusive is. We'll use this one, for example, the Orange Oxalot, which is 1.5 million, which is absolutely crazy. It's getting to a point where it's going to be extremely difficult for anybody who's starting the game to have any sort of traction. You pretty much have to pay to win at this point if you are going to even get close to some of the people that have been playing for a decent amount of time. People's growth usually slows down as they get richer and richer in a game. But in here, we're seeing exponential growth. The rich are only getting richer in this game. It's kind of scary, to be honest, because I want everybody to feel like they're in the same playing field when they're playing Pet Simulator 99. And it was already bad before, but now it's just so difficult for anybody who's starting out. I don't even know what I would do if I started with absolutely nothing right now. Honestly, the mastery stuff was really good for people wasting their diamonds because they had to pay all of those upgrade costs for all of the potions and the enchants and stuff. But once again, big games, we desperately need a diamond sink that rich people are actually going to be paying into more than a diamond wheel to spin for some huges. We need something that's going to stop this absolutely insane inflation. But yeah, I guess the, the rich are getting richer. Now, in terms of enchants, as you can see, we have a new all-time high for the boss chest mimic. It's currently at 107 million. I assume the price increase for this has been due to the announcement of the update coming on Saturday. 
and some people probably believe that this is going to be taken out of the exclusive shop. Let me reiterate that this is totally possible. They could put a whole new set of exclusive enchants, but it just feels to me that they aren't because they usually do it like every other update and they just put this in in the last update. So that's just where I'm coming from with this perspective. We also have seen the chest mimic fall in price a bit. This is probably due to the stuff I talked about in the last video about how they might reintroduce the chest mimic back into the exclusive shop. We still don't know if this is true. If the update comes around and it turns out to not be true, the price of this thing could absolutely skyrocket. I still think it is pretty overpriced though. Definitely the best enchant in the game, but 260 million is so crazy to me. Diamond chest mimic has been going up kind of on a steady incline, but nothing too crazy. I still don't think it's the best enchant. But who knows, we could see a buff in this new update, that'd actually be kind of lit. I'd actually kind of enjoy that. I just really do not enjoy this drops meta, it's not that fun. I'd rather go for pure diamond builds, because it's just more straightforward for what you're getting and what you're able to grind. Lucky block is pretty steady as well, same with the massive comment. And we've also seen the royalty charm and the overload charm pretty much stay stagnant. The price has not changed in over a week, and it's also gone down in price actually. I assume this is because people realize that they could just take these off of old huges. So people have been buying a bunch of cheap huges that have these charms on them and then just ripping them off and then selling them. So that could be the reason why the price of this has actually gone down. Overall though, these could be a good investment, but only if the prices of huge begin to really skyrocket after this update. So once the update does come around, if prices begin to go absolutely insane for huges, you can expect these to actually rise in price and they'll probably be a good deal. And obviously, if we do see some new stuff in the exclusive shop, we can expect that the jelly egg is going to rise in price. So this would be a good investment. Right now, it's 10.9 million compared to the Valentine egg, which was 13.6 million. Obviously, if you're going to invest in these, it's currently just a gamble, but the price of it will probably rise over time anyways. Just something to keep in mind. And lastly, we're going to talk about this chest spell. It's actually been rising in price once again. It's at 284 million. It seems like to me that people believe this thing is going to be absolutely insane at level 99. So once people get it to that level, I guess we will see if it really is that good. I honestly don't think it's going to be that good. And even if it is that good, I still don't think it's worth 284 million right now. This is actually more expensive than the chest mimic. I would 100% get this enchant over the chest spell any day. But I assume the people that are spending those kinds of diamonds on this thing are just so rich that it doesn't really matter anymore. And they just want to be as powerful as they possibly could be. Again, I don't think it's worth the value. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I know I said earlier in the video that I was going to try to tone down my yapping from now on. I just went insane with the yapping, so I apologize for that. Hopefully this video isn't too long for you guys. Make sure you joined up on the Discord. Appreciate all the support recently. Make sure you like the video and are subscribed to the channel. Much love and peace out.